man, Greg Foster, the high hurdles champion. And he's here with another Foster, Brendan. Greg, three times world champion, the first man ever to do so, and at the sprightly young age of 33. <laughs> well, I'm very happy about it. This was, like I said, it was the toughest one, and uh, I'm just glad it's over, really. I mean, I had a hard time yesterday. Today was a lot easier day than yesterday. Yesterday, I just couldn't do anything right but eat, which I made sure I did, but uh, I'm just glad this one's over. You were happy with the way you came out of the blocks? Well, uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. You know, I, I can never get a great start, so I don't worry about that. I got a good start. I wasn't too far behind. And I still hit the second hurdle, I think mainly because I tried to make a burst, a burst between one and two. But it didn't bother me as much. And I think I just kind of tried too hard at the end. And, uh, Do you want to have a look at the race with us, Greg, and talk sure. us through it? Yeah. Well, as you can see, Mark definitely out again. I just got out, uh, like I said, fairly well. I wasn't, wasn't the first one, but uh, definitely wasn't the last one. Basically, just tried to stay within myself. And uh, right there, I tried to dig down real hard. And as you can see, I hit it with my trail knee coming over. And from that point on, I just basically just said, just stay, stay tall and just concentrate on yourself and try not to make any mistakes. It's gonna be a close race, and uh, you know, it definitely was. Jack ran a life, uh, race of his life, and uh, you know, I can only be happy with that. Were you conscious of him all the way? Excuse me? Were you conscious of Jack being there all the time? No, I wasn't. I wasn't conscious at all, and good thing I wasn't. Had I been conscious, it might have been a little bit worse, and I probably would have started to bang a few, but uh, you know, I just stayed within myself and just tried to run my own race, and that's what Bobby told me beforehand. Right there, I tried to dig down a little bit too much, and uh, so just relaxed. But uh, I won anyway, so that's all it matters. I've never seen this before, but there's a photo wow. finish. That's, that's, that's close. You can't ask for a better race than that. And Jack ran well. I can only, you know, uh, congratulate him on a, on a terrific performance. What about a word about Tony Jarrett, our young Briton in third place? Well, d he's definitely one to contend with. He had me a little nervous the other day. Uh, I'm running all out, running 23, and he's pulling up at the end. So, <laughs> you know, you got you to gotta, you gotta think about it. And uh, I just tried to not, you know, not, today tried not to think about it and just run my own race, and it, and it worked. Olympic Games next year? Absolutely, absolutely. I'm doing exactly what I did this year and rest and, and take care of my body first of all and, and racing second of all. So I think that was the key for me this year. Congratulations, Greg. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Well, the next